R.I.T. Another Save the World video. Why everyone meat rides Playboy Cardi. We all know this to be true. The opium epidemic. Uh, I just think that Cardi is the man who keeps it all fresh. He's doing shit that no one else is doing in a way. He's not like necessarily trying to be cool by following trends at least. Like he starts his own trends. And then everybody wants to go on that and then... You know, again, some of it I feel like is luck. Like, it's not like he planned to be the guy who who was influential. Like, it just happened because he was so mysterious. And then he just kept running with it, in my opinion. But who knows? Let's see what Save the World says. Uh, before we start this, I think we need to have a talk. Some of you niggas are going off the deep end. Like, we're literally reaching helmet-wearing territory. Because what the hell is this? You are not allowed to come unless I say so. Plug. You are not allowed to. What the? So Playboy Cardi has surpassed Lou. Uh, uh, he probably could have used ad libs from like Baby Voice Fetus Cardi and just like pitched it up to sound like it was from Corn. Uzi and Michael Jackson and monthly listeners with only two features, not even his own songs, just features, and has an insane media machine that keeps on growing every single day. Everywhere you go, people are talking about Cardi. It's absolutely crazy, especially because the nigga barely does anything. But instead of just sitting around hating, let's actually dive into why Cardi is actually getting this level of attention. The mysterious persona. Cardi just being this mysterious, lonely guy doesn't really do anything for for him. There are plenty of B and C tier celebrities that are exactly like this, really private people. And I agree. And that's why I say, I don't think the mysterious persona, like by itself, is the reason that he is so influential because there has to be something extra in addition to that, that, that has the actual pull. And then the mysterious persona is like icing on the cake. It like adds a little bit more to it. But if that's your base layer, People are just going to forget about you because you're not posting online. There's so many underground rappers that think that they can do this mysterious persona like <clears throat> so fail and not drop for a year. And then look like the hype goes down that nobody really cares or talks about like they do with Cardi. Cardi's special thing is more likely akin to the 16th out of the 48 laws of power. Law 16, use absence to increase respect and honor. Once you've become well known, don't worry. Once you've become well known, though. You have to gain this credibility before you can be mysterious because if you're mysterious before you're even anybody, you're just gonna be a nobody. You're welcome. The more you're seen and heard from, the more you cheapen your brand. We know this is especially true for artists like Summers who constantly go on rants about what fans have to say and is constantly trying to prove something. He also has the advantage of law number nine, win through your actions and never your arguments. He doesn't entertain hate or respond to people calling him mid. He doesn't go on his story to post petty sneak disses or hype himself up. He just hits us with some genuinely interesting work. And when you compare this to artists like Roddy Rich or Nevada, who had phenomenal numbers, better numbers than Cardi when he first started, but chose to feed into the hate surrounding them and just make it worse and propel the narrative that they're kind of washed up and corny, well then they're no longer relevant, they're just gone, which is honestly kind of brutal. And I want you to remember this, you always see and hear people talking about Cardi, but you never- That is true, and probably I should do that as well. And I, I mean, I don't even like to read negative comments because not even for the response, but it just makes me feel bad. So yeah, I should probably just be like, even if there is a hate comment, don't respond. You just, just uh, what is it? Kill him with kindness. You win by your actions. Like if somebody says you fell off or you're mid, just drop a banger video or drop a banger song that hits a million. And so like their argument has no merit anyway. So you already won without even saying anything. And then you didn't work yourself up that's a good, that's a good point really see Cardi himself doing the talking. But when Cardi does deliver, like with his recent interaction with fans, announcement of his tour, and his recent feature on Travis Scott's Utopia, it results in an amazing experience and like absolutely insane growth. It's not just Cardi being mysterious. Him and his team know exactly. It's very similar to how a lot of people talk about Travis Scott with how he creates a world 
in his fandom of like utopia or astral world he has this theme park and where it is i think technically a theme park too but like even going in fortnite there's just a whole lore behind him and if you i don't know if you're going on rants and i feel like actually summer sorry summers even though he does go on rants i feel like that's part of the entire lore so you just have to be on point with your branding but if you're I don't know, like all over the place, whereas Cardi's always on point, even everybody around him wearing all black opium, like everybody's on his team, like like pushing his agenda. That's really all you need. Exactly who to associate with, what songs to clear and leave behind, and how to interact with fans to get people to like him. Speaking of fans, let's talk about the absolutely batshit crazy amount of work that these guys put into keeping his career successful. It's Literally, something that I've learned throughout uh, just like being somewhat behind the scenes and, and running like marketing campaigns or whatever is how much money you have to put behind some of these songs on like TikTok or Instagram, Twitter, et cetera, et cetera, YouTube. Now, Cardi may not be hitting the same numbers as say, I don't know, like name, name, he named the baby Roddy Rich, et cetera, et cetera, who have like number one hits on billboard. However, he is not nearly putting any of the money into the marketing that they are like maybe a tenth maybe even less most of it's probably going into actual production and not necessarily like the beats but like doing videos or doing cool shit or or like having cool people around that are super creative where and and then that kind of like helps spread the message or content that he's creating because it's so good it's not just cookie cutter like you know uh high production music video on mtv that everybody has you know what i mean and so now all his fans do the work because the content's so good fans are constantly doing concept work for his aesthetic to keep the image alive his fans make viral remixes to his songs they do promo for him like that time they spray painted a bunch of posters in paris hinting at new music soon got everyone hyped and talking about it only for it to be revealed that it's fake and it's not even like cardi is paying them to do all this they just wanted to do that to keep the community thriving but i think the biggest component of all this and it's gonna sound like i'm joking but it genuinely is the playboy cardi subreddit it's one of the biggest communities on reddit in general and probably the most active community a lot of people call it toxic or like lame now but once you get big enough of course there's gonna be lame people in any community go to any fan base so i don't understand when people say that like if you have a 500,000 people in a room of course there's gonna be like you know most of them are like most people are lame okay Y'all might think I'm lame. I don't really care, but you know how that's the, you can't have all cool people. And so, uh, yeah, with all the memes and like this Cardi touch himself and like stupid little shit like that, it just spreads on Twitter. The Cardi fans, they be doing they Cardi might have to turn into Elon and like give out ad revenue like on X now to all the Cardi subredditors who are posting and like having all of his content blow up you should do that for any rapper out right now they're constantly generating discussion about their artists they're keeping track of leaks and just generally giving out interesting information it makes you feel like you're a part of an actual movement instead of just like you know you're another fan of some rapper but i think the most important part of all of this is that cardi just genuinely makes good music not only that he's just different he's not pumping out 12 mediocre albums a year to try to stay relevant and stack up streams he's not constantly getting into to these petty beefs and complaining about shit on his fucking instagram story like anybody cares and his music doesn't sound like it would be played 24 7 in a footlocker literally all he did was switch it up not just try it out and dip his toes in the water like other artists but he truly 100 popularized something completely different hopefully cardi inspires niggas to you know stop making fucking mid yeah there are so many people trying to be like cardi but in essence you're doing the exact opposite and that a lot of underground rappers try to make music like him, dress like him. But the whole point of his persona is to switch it up 
So don't do literally what he does. Like metaphorically switch up your sound to do something completely different like he did to make your own brand that like nobody can compete with you. Because if you're making opium type music or whatever, there's always going to be Cardi up there where you're never going to surpass him because he created that sound, you know? It has music, but who knows? We'll see. Anyway, subscribe and uh, watch my next video. It'll probably be cool. Shout out Save the World. Made some good points. Um, Yeah, I mean, we all know Cardi's the most influential artist right now. Uh, may not be the biggest, like, streams-wise, but, like, just overall engagement wise on social media, he has the most active fan base. So he's kind of running shit. And I don't really care what any of these mainstream fans say. Most of their fan bases, yes, again, they might be streaming well, but it's heavily, heavily predicated upon playlists and promotion. But if we were to take every single artist, no promo, the ones that we talk about in our niche, they have the strongest fan bases, no promo. Because, like, there's actual conversation around these people. If there was no, like, TikToks, whatever, planting music in different places, Cardi's winning. Aside from maybe, like, Drake and, like, you know, the, the all-time ghosts.